Okay, so setting up a PowerPoint quiz like this, um, it's fairly straightforward. But what it does create is, you know, a large amount of slides. So for each question, we've got three slides. So it's very soon going to become quite a large file, and you know, quite unwieldy and very easy to get a little bit confused about which one is linking where. And I'm sure you could think of ways that we could improve uh, the enjoyment of doing the quiz, such as having a score and things like that. And so what we are going to do is we are going to get rid of the incorrect slide and get rid of the correct slide. And I'm going to show you how we can write some code to program our quiz to do what we want it to do. So. What we'll do first is we'll set it up so that when we click on the right answer, a message box will pop up saying, well done. So to, in order to add some code, we need to go to the developer tab. And the code we're going to be using is Visual Basic. That's the programming language. So we click on there. And there's nothing there at the moment. So we need to insert a module. And now this gives me somewhere to write. Now we're going to create a subroutine. So we type sub and we're going to call it correct. So we give it a name that we'll understand and we need open and closed brackets. Now when I press enter, Visual Basic Editor helpfully puts the end sub in for for me. Now we need we want a message box to pop up the language for that message msg box open uh, brackets and then in speech marks we can write what we want it to say so we'll say well done okay so that's all there is to that we can now return to our PowerPoint just by clicking on that PowerPoint button there and I'm actually going to have to get rid of the picture and um, we'll use an action button to make this work. So, so create an action button and rather than hyperlinking it to, we are going to run a macro and you can see it says correct. That's the uh, macro we just created. There's a drop down list but at the moment we've only got correct. So click OK, let's name that C. Make it a bit bigger and bold and let's test it okay so shift and f5 here is my question the correct answer is fishing I click on it well done it says I can click OK and that's that so that's your first piece of visual basic it sets yours up to uh, bring up a message box saying well done Right, so so far what we have is a link to our question and then when we get the correct question correct we have a pop-up box and you can see that what I've just done is I've altered the code so that I can put a little bit of feedback in. So what we don't have is anything on the buttons for the incorrect answers. So we need some code on that. So develop a tab into Visual Basic um, and I'm sure that you can probably work it out. So um, put a space. Now it's another subroutine and we'll call this one wrong. You need your brackets like that. Press enter and the, the Visual Basic editor will put in a line uh, to separate the two subroutines and we'll put the end sub for in for you and we will type our message box. Notice where the capitals go. With any programming language you have to learn uh, where to put the punctuation and capitals is very important. So we'll put that's wrong. We'll just leave it like that for now and go back into PowerPoint. And now we need to assign that macro. So get rid of that and the easiest way of doing this is to actually use uh, the action buttons. So, run macro, wrong. Click OK. So let's just put a B on there and uh, I'll leave it that size. And hunting, let's uh, is that 
put another action button in run the macro wrong click OK and A now my buttons are all the wrong size they're not the same size and they're not lined up hold down the shift key you can select them all at the same time and if you go to formats you can at least align them all to the right size and here to the to the so they're all in line and here actually I can uh, make them all to be the same size so now they are not all aligned correctly so I'll align them back to the left you can also distribute them equally so now they all look nice okay right shift F5 let's test that so I want to test hunting that's wrong hacking that's wrong fishing that's correct right so you can do that with now by the time you've got this far you really ought to have saved but I suspect many of you haven't when you come to save this presentation um, you will get a message like this now because we are using Visual Basic and we're creating what's called macros um, to it within the presentation we don't actually want to save it as a macro free presentation so we can click on no welcome to my quiz and then use the drop down save as type and you want to save it as a PowerPoint macro enabled presentation so we'll save that like that so that's how you will save it